All right. Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Steve Graves. I'm in the geography department here at uh, Cal State Northridge, and uh, I'm going to narrate a video tutorial for Geography 102 lab regarding um, how to use Google Maps to uh, make some measurements of aerial and linear distances uh, on the globe. Uh, this video tutorial may be broken into uh, three or four segments in order to uh, give you a chance to take a break and uh, in order for me to edit <laughs> all of the mistakes that I am sure to make out as I go. So here we go. The first thing you need to do is to launch a browser window and you can see hopefully from the screen uh, that I have launched uh, Google here. You may uh, be able to see at the bottom that it is in Google Chrome. That um, browser seems to work best for using Google products like Google Maps and Google Converter, Google Calculator, which are the three products that we will use. Some of the other uh, online applications will work as well, but I'm assuming since we are a Google campus that you will be using Google Maps. So the first thing you're going to do is just bring up Google Maps. You can, in a, in a window type, uh, maps.google.com and hit enter. Click OK and it should uh, zoom in to where it thinks you are. Uh, it seems to know that I'm in Northridge now. Uh, and the first thing you're going to do is to uh, zoom in on the Oviat library. So in the search window here, type in Oviat library. And it very well may prompt you for the Oviat, the Oviat library in Los Angeles, California. Click OK here, and it zooms in. You can uh, cross out that here. We are, you can see uh, CSUN's campus. And the first thing that we're going to have you do is to switch from the map view to the Earth view. So click down here in the lower left hand corner. Hopefully the word Earth is displaying. If you see satellite, some of the features may not work and you may want to switch browsers. Click. Earth and the screen switches over to a remotely sensed image. Essentially it's aerial photography but satellites and drones also take a remotely sensed imagery and geographers use that quite a bit. So now we can see the quad and um, what I want you to do is zoom in on the Oviat library. There's a number of ways of doing this there is a zoom button down here. You can also uh, click. Oh, no, that doesn't work. You can, uh, at least for mine, you can roll in with a, um, a mouse wheel. That's how I'm doing it. There are several ways depending on your browser and your operating system. Okay, so uh, one of the first things I want you to take a look at, hopefully you have this arrow on your screen. It's over on the lower right-hand screen, and the red part of the arrow points north. You can rotate the view in some browsers, and now uh, red is pointing to the bottom of the screen, but it always points towards north. So at this point, uh, you should stop and answer a question or two about the basic orientation of campus in Moodle. Okay, hopefully you will know which direction you're walking when you're on campus from now on. The next uh, segment that we're going to do in here or on this lab is to measure uh, a familiar landmark, and in this case, the green space out in front of the Oviat Library. It's called the Oviat Lawn. Uh, in order to help you get started, we want to zoom in. 
right click, and I believe this may be a um, special uh, button plus a click in Apple. Um, you will have to experiment if you're an Apple user. So it's a right click if you're a PC user. Right click and the drop down menu will say measure distance. So we're going to measure just the distance of the porch. Click measure distance and I want to click and drag move my point to the corner of the porch. I'm going to put a second point on the southeastern corner of the porch. Click once and you will notice that it gives us a distance of 263 feet. If you have replicated that then uh, you're in good shape. It should say 263, 264, 262, something close. If it's not, you should stop now and uh, perhaps switch browsers, switch computers, or uh, contact your instructor or your teaching assistant. The next step that we're going to do is to try to measure the green space, the lawn, and where I want you to click first is in the corner here hopefully you can see my mouse moving around this location here where the first step up away from the lawn uh, meets these stairs that go to the upper deck to the west of the Oviat lawn so click right click once there in the corner select measure distance that's a good spot right there. And then come over to the exact same spot on the eastern side of the Oviat lawn, just where that first step um, is found. So click. And now answer a question about the distance that you recorded. The next step is to click yet again on a space at least midway through Matador Walk. I would suggest to come down towards the bottom of Matador Walk here, perhaps where the green uh, lawn again uh, begins just after or south of Matador Walk. Click once again and you will notice a new measure is available in the box the information window in the upper left hand corner but also uh, near the uh, terminal point of the two lines that you have made to this point. Uh, there are several questions at this point in Moodle that you should uh, answer. So pause, answer the questions, and then come back. The next step after answering those questions is to complete the rectangle enclosing the matador walk. So click once more on this, uh, perhaps the green space just south of matador walk, but due west of the last point that you made, the second point. So this is now the third point. Click once and then click yet again here at the beginning spot where you started your rectangle in closing Ovia Lawn. Now you will notice that area measurement is available and also total distance. At this point I'm going to stop and pause what I'm doing. You have several questions to answer in Moodle and there will be an, a subsequent section, a subsequent video following this up.